Breathing with beer. When we're back again. It's May, almost June 2019. I've been on doing this show for, I think, for 15 years. Well, I was on your show four or five years ago. Back in the old, in Valley Road when the captain, <laughs> with the mask and everything. Road. Oh, God, I, I wish. It's from nostalgia. Man. Yes, and have I grown up? Anyway, we I have, have. I don't know. You want me to comment on that? <laughs> anything you, you want. want. To comment socially, privately, psychiatrically? It's like, yeah, I would love this psychiatrically. <laughs> no, I don't do that. Uh, you know. Well, you can if you want. Uh, more, I have a story about that, uh, about but, it, when I was in the Marines, uh, about but, being captured about the comment on the Marine. Uh, well, they had office, guns. Uh, they had uh, guns. Yeah. It was Vietnam. I would, too. <laughs> anyway, we have Dr. Martin Wineapple. I, kept, I always called you Weinberg. Wineapple. And it's Wineapple. W-E-I-N. What did we talk about last time? Uh, Same thing we're going to talk about now? Every, everything. 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 But, uh, it was, I think we went to forensic psychiatry. Right, more, here. yes. Yeah. Anyway, you're a psychiatrist and, and everything else, and you've been living in the town, but you still work, blah, 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 yeah, blah, blah, blah. I'm a local psychiatrist. Uh, I, I worked for the hospital up until about a year and a half ago where I was the uh, medical director of a program called the New View Academy which was a program for special ed kids in Piscataway that the hospital staffed. Mm -hmm. And then um, that stopped. I mean, I worked for them about, I don't know, 15 years. I'm now an honorary attending. I gave up my attending, you know, because there was no longer any. Well, you, you were a shrink. You've done it all, though. You, you, did, you did the military. You did I was, I was kids. The, you uh, did Yeah, I'm teaching. actually a child psychiatrist. Oh, that's what, that was yeah, the basic. Yeah, you started, I, I still now, I still consult. Uh, I still work. I have a small practice. Um, and I do forensic psychiatry. I work for the New Jersey Public Defender's Office. Mm -hmm. And also- So you've seen both sides, prosecutors I, I, and defenders. I did, I did at one time, you know, do prosecutor. But I, I, I actually prefer, I remember walking in when I first started with the uh, public defender um, and office and, and the head of the, at that particular uh, office said, welcome to doing God's work. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. there's a big difference between the prosecutor and the prosecutors want to score points. They want to win. Uh, they well, run for I, I election. I want to comment on it right you now. Can, you, you can know, if you yeah, want. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why are you here? But anyway, but I, I consult for Eden Autism. Also, oh wow, which is you know a, a, a particular interest of mine. You know, and um, you know I, I I live here, live in Princeton. I enjoy it. I love it. What, what brought you to Princeton in the first place? How did we even meet? We met. I think on my bike. I think. I, oh, I just started talking. Where I, I I bike. You know, I, no, I, I was. I think I was. You were walking your dog or something. Yeah, well, that yeah. most recently. No, we we met. I was campaigning for Andrew Zwicker when uh, that's our state as, uh, assemblyman, uh, and he was. And I think I was going door to door for Democratic oh, candidates, okay. and I ended up talking to you for an hour. Yeah, which was, was fine with me because I got talk. tired. Yeah, we talked. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. In fact, the, the last time we met, which led to this, I think, I was on my. You were walking your dog, and I was on my bike. And you looked healthy again because you you had a health scare. I was scare. healthy at that time. Right, yeah, right, yeah, right. That was before. Oh, actually, before. before. Right, right, right. Yeah, 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 because we talked. Yeah. You said you had some yeah. ideas for the show. I had ideas at that time. And then the phone call never came, and, and I go to this. Never came I thought you. Get, I thought yeah. did you get dementia, and he's in Florida, or, you know, something. <laughs> I, I went to Florida, sort of. You know, okay, but no stuff. dementia though. No, no, I hope not. I okay, mean, I, we're talking I, now. I feel, you know, my memory. I test it all the time, you know, and mm -hmm. so forth. And I think it's not bad. So I was on the bike. And we started talking, and I expressed some of my concerns. About polarization. Polar, no, Political no, polarization. Politi no, no, fra both balkanization. Balkanization. You know, yeah. in other words, fragment, you know, everyone I assume knows what balkanization is. Uh, who, Not in this country. They think the United <laughs> Kingdom is Disney World, but anyway. Yeah. Well, balkanization, you know, basically was a, a breakdown of, of, of the Balkans, you know, into different, you know, areas, countries, zones. And, and became and tribal and warrior. I worried about that a, a couple of years ago, actually. Uh, you did call current, it. Uh, you said it was going to get worse, the yeah, current I, political I, climate, I thought, the I tribalism. Thought, yeah, yeah, but I was going to get into that. I, you know, I, I thought that uh, it was a fear of mine that uh, with the uh, things that were happening even then, you know, that the, the country united is strong, you know, but if it breaks down, and at first I thought of it, you know, and I had some current ideas as like a north-south, you know, two countries, but then I began to think even more, and you know, it could be even, let's say, four or 500 years from now, you know, look at, at the long term, you know, there could be a number of countries, three, four, five, you right. know, if you look at the southeast or the northwest or the South, you know, and I began to think about this, and I mentioned this to you that that was a concern of mine, and I began to think even more, and I wanted to approach it not politically, you know, though how to understand the current political 
you know, um, attitudes and aroma, whatever you want to aroma. <laughs> yeah, aroma yeah. Noxious like, aroma, yes. You know, let's, let's put that aside. But how to understand it in terms of that kind of evolutionary process. And I began to think, how did we begin? How are we hardwired? You know, and we're hardwired, you know, first as small groups, like little, that began tribes. Right. And then tribes became sort of regions. And then regions became, countries became united. You know, you had the, the, the unification of Germany, the unification right. Italy. of Italy, right. you know, different places. And in that, they, they were looking for strength. And, you know, we are united, you know, yet we're diverse. So what happens is in diversity, you know, there can be problems also. Right. It's you know, if you look at diversity in other areas of the world, but we, our country really in a way is diverse to begin with, so it was an advantage. But I wonder if it could be a disadvantage as it, as it breaks down, you know, where there can be regions that develop differently or right, have right. different, you know, wishes or attitudes or, you know, ideals, and even language-wise. See, what one of the things I thought of, uh, and I'm trying to understand this, by the way. I'm it's talking, evolving. It's, it's, yeah, you're processing it. I'm trying it. to understand this there, yeah. uh, psych psychologically. Right. That's the issue. And I don't know. And I've been thinking about it, and I hope others can think about it in terms of, or hope that they understand what I'm trying to get at. What is the combination? That there's danger, you know, yeah. that, that there's a danger. Because I think united, yet diverse. We're strong. But what if there is a breakdown, you know, and we revert back, but we're hardwired, see, to be tribal. Right. And so the in the evolution, I think, I, I'm a psychohistorian. I've done work in psychohistory. Uh, I, I wrote a paper on Torquato Tasso. You know, Torquato Tasso was an Italian poet who uh, lived in Ferrara, and he was an embarrassment to the Estes at that time. And he was put in a psychiatric institute. How psychiatry was used politically at the you right. know, Russia, like the Soviets. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. You know, and, and so I study this in 1579, 1585. He was put in a sort of what would be a, a crude psychiatric, what we call a crude one. Today. Santana, actually, yeah. there should be a plaque by Santana. I don't know if they, they, they still have Santana. Like that movie, The Miracle yeah. Santana, same place. Something like that. But they put you, they put him. He, he was put away. Right, I mean, right. To, to and labeled an idiot, insane, he, wacky. Well, the question was was it for political or was it for right. mental reasons, right. and I determined that it was sort of a combination of both because right. he really was crazy. So anyway, so I I look, been thinking a lot about this, you know, the diversity and the regionalization, and there's many components and, and, and the, the current economic and, yeah. and economics and everything yeah. too, and everything. Yeah, it, it, how it, it all so fits complicated. in. Complicated, you know, and it's gotten more complicated with the technology and how people use it and how they try to understand. Yeah. Right. And right. I, I I'm a psychiatrist, so I study or I think about these things. And when we met that time on the bike, <laughs> right? You know, I had these ideas. I have other ideas, so I thought it would be of interest to you. you know, no, to it is. I, I'm it. fascinated by it too because yeah. you know, because it's, it's you rooted think, in what history. What do you think? See, what do you think about the idea? Or what I'm expressing? Yeah, it's hard for me to put in words too. One is we hit it on the. We are diverse, but very much it's the same. We have a lot of common denominators. That's key, I think. Social yeah. media. It we we have positive. common words, common culture, yeah, common it, everything. It can be, po but it also could be negative. Yeah, yeah Because how are we hardwired? Yeah, we are hardwired for groups yeah. and also we're hardwired well, and one of the easiest things to say I could talk about hillbilly elegy but you have a group of people like if you go south this is white Anglo-Saxon or Scotch Irish people who lived in one area their whole lives and right now their identity is being threatened completely and then they're hardwired that hurts them self-image yeah. and everything at the same time they did come from one region yeah. and at the same time they were in the driver's seat now that's and that's kind of a, you know it shows the fragility of, uh, we're very fragile yeah yeah what do you do with the hardwired that's in you. See, a lot of people... And the fear that comes with it. I've had people in this yeah. town, one, I'm not going to go into names, yeah. um, a friend of mine, he sounded like a white nationalist. He had lost his job, he was 58 years old, had nothing to do with intelligence, very bright guy. The guy was almost an astrophysicist. He started s sounding like he felt besieged. He went back to his identity, to his tribal you, thoughts. You know what it is? It's, uh, and I've heard this word being used recently, that a lot, there's, a, there's a, um, a fight between emotion and rational. 
I think reptilian wins at the end, especially yeah, when yeah, you're under yeah, stress. Yeah, yeah. What, what runs things? It's emotion. You know, if 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 the world ran didn't run by emotion, you wouldn't have all these conflicts. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. I mean, uh, but exactly. we wouldn't be arguing. We wouldn't politicize climate and everything. Right. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Everything, I, I can tell what who someone gets politicized, right. and that's the point I'm making. Yeah. That how does this impact what I'm trying to say upon the political scene? Right. I don't want to deal with the politics really at this point. But no. you're right, though. But, but, but it's, how, it's a hardwired. Yeah, it's, it's a tribe. Hard, it's a self-image, yeah. influenced by the times. Yeah, and then the environment, right, it's yeah, like yeah. nature, nurture, you know, yeah. that, that whole idea. But it does scare me because it it's does. Scary, it's scary. It's scary. When I, when I saw my friend, no, and most people won't go out and be violent, but you don't need, you only need the catalyst, you know, and then, and then people will can follow, you know. And, and, the catalyst or the... Yeah, and, well, he talked about, and he talked about joining some... The trigger. Uh, yeah, the trigger. And, and, he, and who could take advantage of that, yes, you know, yeah, so yeah. forth and so on. I and I'm still shocked, I don't want to get too political, yeah, yeah, some right. people like Trump, some of the people who love, follow Trump, but they follow what I call the conspiracies and the demagoguery. And again, they're well, saying it touches the emotion. It I touches think. the emotion. So it touches the emotion. And again, I, I you know, I don't, but a rational mind learns to, well, to diversify. What, what's happened? What's happened to the rationality? Why does that go underground? Why yes. can't people yes. make education? You know, where does the role of education come in? Where does the role of, of media, social media, TV, technology? Right. They, it's very complicated to try to understand this from a psychological but point of I view call it, with all the variables. But I call it the yeah, with the variables, I just call it like this, tyranny of ideology. These are educated people, but they're not using that part of their brain. And then it fits into the net. Another person, highly educated, a PR master, he loves Trump, and he gets into the conspiracy theories, yeah. these cockamamie. Let me interrupt you. Sure. You know, one of the thoughts I had about the idea, when you mentioned the word ideology, see, I think that many ideologies, religions, isms, capitalism, communism, socialism, commun whatever it is, the, everything and religions, they all begin with ideals. Right. Very that I think that are very good. Christi you know, Christianity, I mean, how can you beat, you know, love thy brother? Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, stuff don't, like that. Yeah, don't you kill know, someone and, just because you sold your bread. And, right, and right. Fr Freud begins with an idea, and then Freudism comes in. You know, so there are isms, you know, and what happens to the ideal? It gets... Somehow the emotions come in, or some, or the demagoguery, or and whatever. Hijacked, you want to, right. they get, things get hijacked. Yeah. You know, it, it, uh, I, I remember talking about this with Occupy Wall Street. You know, and we were talking, and I said it's going to get hijacked. You know, of course, it, yeah. again, it, it was it was a pretty good idea. I mean, you know, think of you got to you know do Not something about the money. It, it was raw though, and it was real, and they're <laughs> yeah, using yeah. good. It yeah, was yeah, emotional. Yeah, 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 yeah. But but it, it got. It, Not it, that I agree with that. That would agree with yeah. You don't agree or not, but it gets things like that. In my opinion, that. This is what it I think starts about. They stuff. get hijacked. Yeah. So why why are people vulnerable though? Why do these things who what that start out very idealistically get hijacked? You know, Adam Smith writes the you know the Wealth of Nations, and everybody it's used for right. each each right, left, middle, upside down, and, and their own it's, image. It's like the, 1,200 yeah. pages. Yeah. Are they ever read it? I don't know. No, I've read some of it it's too. Like reading the Mueller report, you got to yeah. read it. <laughs> <laughs> Which most people don't do. If you read it, you understand something. And it, it does get hijacked. And then don't forget, some people aren't discerning, and it, 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 it agrees with their own echo chamber, and they go from there. Well, it's the hard wiring, yeah. you know. I think, and and somehow there there is genetics, there is environment, there are. Th but today, it's much hard. I think it's harder to understand because it's gotten more complicated. Right. Well, I would agree. You know, uh, life is more complicated. There's too you much know, information. Uh, yeah. It's, I'm you know over. Oh, love. I, 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 I think there's too much for me. just personally. I, I think my head is always spinning right. with all of these thoughts, you know, and I feel there's too much. It's almost overwhelming. Right. So sometimes I just go on my bike and I relax. I can go for. Two, I went uh, today ten miles already. We're not meant to be. See, I mean, it's it is weird when you think that you keep on hearing this analogy. A kid in Africa today, with his if he had cell reception on his own phone, has more information than the president of the United States had in 1980. How about at his fingertips? How about when I was younger? I said this. All you need in the middle of Africa is a transistor radio. Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> let's get primitive here. Yeah, yeah. You know, let's get but back. The difference but is, you're too. right. You used exactly the simile yeah. or the metaphor today. See, that is that interesting? How there's a repeat of history. It also. is. Yeah, yeah, it's amplified yeah, it too. Yeah. But also, and it's amplified. Yeah, now. but also we do repeat ourselves. This immigration thing. I'm not saying there's we shouldn't have immigration reform, but the demagoguery, all that. That. What we, about the emotions of? Uh, you know, I read a book. The by fear Diamond. of the other. The fear. 
of the other, the fear of the well, other. Well, this goes back even. Diamond wrote the clash yeah, it of, start, civil, yeah, clash it, of it, civilizations. Right, 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 right. You know, uh, which he talked about why that certain Western uh, civilization, you know, was able to conquer. Oh, yeah, steel. Steel, yeah, 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 yeah. Guns, germs, and uh, steel, oh, right. Guns, yeah. germs, and something or other. Yeah, yeah to me, it's more, it's, it's, I, I think America was made, well, and you can say it wasn't perfect, it was made on um, the, the Renaissance, the Enlightenment, the Protestant work ethic, and the exceptionalism of Manifest Destiny, which is a racist thing to the core, but that made America. Plus, we still, even though we don't always welcome immigrants, people always came here with immigrant eyes. They well, wanted who, to be here, they wanted to make- immigrant? Yeah, exactly. Well, <laughs> except the Indians, basically, yeah. Well, okay. too, uh, about well, even, well, you can yeah. argue the Bering Strait. Yeah, know? the Bering, yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. Uh. Yeah, but uh, that's why, one thing, what other country for what it allows itself to renew itself? And that's one of the things, that, yeah. Not, not that it was beautiful for them. Now you back to the point that was the concern to me. Right. You know, which is the fear of it breaking down. Right. You know, that we And it began, could happen. And I think psychologically, that's what I'm trying to understand. Right. Can it happen? And it you happened know, in Germany in 1940. The most literate Well, well the Balkans broke down. I mean, yeah, the they, yeah. they, they broke down. I mean, you know, they, the Yugoslavia, who, which I visited three times. My was, parents were there during their Tito. Yeah, the neighbors yeah, were yeah, killing, yeah. E neighbors who knew each other and were friends and in yeah, America were kill, killing each killing other. Them. Yeah, I mean, that's how serious it can get. I don't, that, yeah, 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 see, that see, still that's just, blows that, my that, mind. See, that, that's what touched me, being familiar you know, with the Balkans, with But they the actually ideas. knew each other. I mean, yeah. And all these liberals, if they grow up together, and I'm not saying well, that's not a good here? idea. What about here, though, where families even Yeah, yeah, that's why I don't yeah, talk, yeah, that's yeah, one yeah. thing I think, I, can't. that's why I've learned, I, I'm not gonna discuss with some of my friends about yeah. Trump. I go, it's just not gonna go any place, yeah, yeah, just yeah. leave it alone. Yeah, leave it alone. Yeah, and, and if you could agree to that, that we can still be, you know, we yeah. can still go on, because we can be friends. Well, but see, what about the psychology trying to understand it and trying to find out why? They put their identity so close yeah, to that well, point. It's so hard to grasp. You know, it's irrational. Yeah, yeah, it is. See, it it's, is. It's, it's, yet it's, y you, you want to hang on to the rational. Right. I hope there are people that hang on to the rational, to the facts, to, to what's going on in the world. Right. Because it seems to be happening. And look what you get if you don't. You get a Yugoslavia, a beautiful yeah. country. You, you, the broken, remember when it was gorgeous? It was and then it became oh, ravaged. Oh, ravaged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what you get. I, I was in some beautiful places there, including Belgrade, which was not so nice at the time. Mm -hmm. But the rest of the Split, countryside. Yeah, split, suburb, yeah, Serbia, yeah, Montegra, I went down yeah. the coast of Dubrovnik. So you were there. Yeah. So you saw it, like my parents yeah. did. Yeah. And then, uh, it's going to sound a little biased and racist. I, I, I put that stuff that doesn't happen in Europe, even Eastern Europe anymore. And look, it happened today. You know, in World War II, that was Germany. That was a special thing with these Germans going crazy and good at it. But I, I didn't think it could happen. I, I and and they, they were just as bad as the Hutu and the Tutus in Africa, where their tribal, you know, it was think, just awful. Yeah, I, I, yeah I, you can think of Africa, interestingly enough. I, I was watching a movie on Netflix called Chaka Zulu. Yeah, remember? <laughs> and, and Zulu <laughs> Dawn is a good movie, yeah, too. Yeah, right, right, yeah, right. I mean, uh, to me, that was interesting. And then I, I started, see, He this beat is the what British in that one battle. But yeah. I saw, yeah, I, I decided, let's look at the history here and and there's a huge history you know of, of the, this type of fighting between nations you know building yeah. of nations consolidating nations and it and keeps then breaking down. And it keeps happening yeah, and then breaking down oh that's your phone <laughs> I, t I have to follow, fire Sally. She told me to tell me told me to turn off the phone, and I didn't do it. So oh, that's no, still her no. fault. Anyway, um, okay, that anyway, was God, that was God calling. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> no, yeah, but it does happen. Yeah, it does. Ha well, and, it happens. That's the point. And you said to me, I remember yeah. you said to me, Adam Trump could win. I mean, I we were the, one of the first ones. Yeah. And then I, I was like, you know, I, no, I, without thinking, oh, come on, we've had this third party stuff before. Because I saw him as more third party, even though he ran as a Republican. But no, people were coming to their senses. But then I went, I didn't, maybe I mentioned this to you. I went out to Missouri, I went up to upstate New York, and he hit a core with people. All, once you look, well, that's I, where the I divide. Think, I think that's, that's the issue that people do have these, feel, these worries. He, and he hit it. He so hit he, it he, at that time. What, 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 but I, I think people do have, and and you have to respect that. But then, on the other hand, it seems so crazy. Yeah, to me, to me, he, he was a con man. I mean, what, what do you think of him now? I don't want to get too. But I saw. But and the I, people, I, but I saying, I'm talking about the people. Yeah, it seemed crazy. Yeah. Who, who really there are needs, and that's what. And I'm they weren't to being understand. listened to. They weren't being listened to. Yeah, yeah. And and some people told me he was the first one. Some of them, and they weren't irrational. They go, I know he's kind of a con man. He's the only one who's talking about what's happened to me for the past 20 years, mm -hmm. about how na I lost my job, identity, self identity, yeah, yeah. self worth, well, job. 
identity issues, yeah, yeah. self worth, self esteem. Right. Also, this know. has been going on for a while, a generation. And, and then scapegoating. Chicken, and, yeah, the scapegoating's bad. The, what the previous uh, people were talking about, it was very interesting, actually, how young people. You know, I have this thought about, uh, you know, I'm an octogenarian, and I was thinking, oh, I'm in my okay. 80s, right there. Yeah. Okay. Believe it or not. <laughs> I'm still look, 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 the brain, the brain's I'm super. 10, I'm 26, you know. The, yeah. I'm, I'm training for the, the, a 400-mile bike ride. You might have snow on the roof, but the furnace <laughs> yeah. is really hot. You know, yeah. I'm thinking, you know, what about the older people thinking about what the younger people are doing? Because there are younger people who oh, are... Right. Worried about these things, or but I don't know, you know, what, 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 what's ha who's guiding, or how are their voices being heard? Right, right. You know, I was right. thinking of Alexandria Octavia Cortez, you know, uh, and, you know, and, and she is so, 29. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I was thinking of her, and how some people, you know, in the groups that I hang out with in the golf and the country clubs, and I do that, I'm part of that, you know, and so far, mm -hmm. you know, how they deride her, but they're deriding a young person, right, right, you know, and is there any education? I was thinking of a blog. You know, to talk to oc fellow octogenarians right, right. and and try to also don't be feel. so dismissive. Why don't you stop and think for a second? Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, and well, read a little bit more about it. Well, think I about which is coming from. When I was younger, from. I feel I still feel not. So much yeah, you are pretty, I mean, you, yeah. you're the first one to say, I don't know everything. You, know, you, you yeah, stop, yeah, I don't, and I'm yeah, curious. Yeah. yeah, and one thing about her, like, I remember when she when she um, stood in front of Nancy Pelosi's office demanding they do something with climate change. I was like, thank you, climate change. Really? I mean, maybe it's not going to work politically at that moment, but yes, someone is talking you about know, it. You know, she, she did say something interesting. She presented something that people were criticizing because it was too expensive. But that's what a deal maker does. That's how you, and that's how you, that's start. how you start. You start with an idea. And, and, yet and then you whittle it down and yeah. compromise. So I thought that was a, a, a sort of Nothing a pretty mature for, uh, yeah. you know, for a young person. Yeah. So I think though, think people big. my age, you know, or you need to look at yeah, people, didn't you, young people. And because you tried to think big, maybe yeah. you get broken down, especially in politics. Yeah. Obama even admitted this: you kind of lose the idealism with the mechanics and everyday yeah. grunt work of, of, of messy democracy. But yeah, you think big. Look, whatever's happening, we have climate change, climate catastrophe. Yeah. What are we going to do about it? And, and she gave a plan. Now, we, of course, you might not. It might be utopian at this. Right. Moment. Exactly, but, but she think starts. Of, think about it. Yeah, know? and it's important. But think about it from your point of view as an old person. Why are you thinking that you're not picking up right, on exactly. the young person's idea? Exactly. So right, right. The, the people before you in the program said something very interesting that I commented on when I said right. you know, before. You know how you would turn to the young people for ideas. And I, I remember doing something like that, I think I said with them, in music and art high school, right, right. where a student came to me and said, Doc, I need your advice. You know, I, I was a child fellow studying really psychiatry, and so, and the person said, I, I said, what's the problem? And she said, um, well, I ran, I ran a group there, and she was actually one of the big members of the group now, I think. She was a high school student. A high school student, music and art, special, I forgot what she did, but they had special artist music, you know? And she said, there's so many drugs, this is in the 70s. She said, there's a drug problem in the school, which I, so I said, what do you think about it? And she was it? kind of wired to ask for the adults instead of stopping to think, maybe I could, so you gave her the I gave opportunity. Her the, the Go idea, ahead. right, right. And what she did was she organized a whole right. group that began working on the drug. It came to the attention, I don't know how you think of this, the New York Post, you know, and she got a full page spread in the Post. Before Rupert Murdoch. <laughs> no. and, and she got a scholarship right. to some, you know, Ivy League uh, and, and college. Let me yeah. understand. I understand why you could be dismissive because sometimes you get just knee jerk, kind of immature stuff, but you have to vet it. But yeah, why don't you ask so? Yes. And, and, and also, one person might not have great ideas, but one idea might, out of their five might be really good to the to the larger problem. I agree with that. You know yeah. that you can have like when I'm on the bike, I have a lot of ideas. Yeah, and maybe one of them. Will that's be a different good. part of your brain yeah. work, it, it working, though. Happens. No, and, uh, and that's been proven I that you're walking and bike. Right. I give myself a chance to think. And I think nature helps you too. I think being Thank out with you. the trees. You got to think. You got to think. You got to use your brain. If you think, maybe you have a little bit to go. Right. You know, you can. And I, I, I value that so much to be able to think. Your best thoughts come when you I, walk I and you ride your bike. I am. Yeah, I yeah. All those cliches come the truth when they hit you over the head. When you that you yeah. really. When I get older, it's true. Just like also when people came to me, you grow up so fast. Now I'm seeing that with my own daughter. But you, you got to put yourself in a position where you can do. Think that. exactly. So we're, we're too busy. I mean, with the, you know, I. We I, make I, excuses. <laughs> we're too busy. No. I, yeah. I tell people. Uh, they say, well, Doc, I, I can't work out. I said, well, you can walk 100 feet. Yeah. You know? So I think there has to be a beginning to what people do. But people are not 
thinking. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're, I, they're not. They're too it, busy. It, yeah. It's so troubling to someone who thinks. We all get caught up in that loop because you are busy. You could say you're busy, but right. But you're right. You could take the time. Someone said to me, uh, I, I wanted a phone call back from somebody, and they and they didn't. And I said I called them, and the person, the secretary, said, Well, he's very busy. I said, Well, I'm busy too. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't mean that, but the person has never called me since. Yeah, then. yeah. See, they take that very uh, as yeah, an insult. It, it, yeah. You know, because you could say, Well, we're all busy. I mean, see, you have to include, you know, we're all one. I mean, I read a, a member of science fiction story, uh, I think it was called Donovan's Brain. Or something. Oh, I saw the movie, Donovan's <laughs> yeah, yeah. Brain. It the was... movie is different than okay. the story. But they got the idea global, from it. The, uh, the whole idea that uh, everything, and Isaac Asimov writes about that. And he was ahead of his time. He, he yeah, talked about corporations. Yeah. Where the universal, you know, is connected. Everyone. I just have to interrupt. You know. Sally, can we keep going? Okay, go. so anyway, we, we went over, but it's fine. Um, where are we? What are we talking about? I was talking about uh, universal uh, togetherness, right. not diversity, yeah. but more to Isn't that together. funny, though? Well, in some ways, this does bring <laughs> us together, but in some ways, it makes us it further makes it, apart. Yeah. It, it drives right. me now. I, I'm going to pick out my wife, though. Yeah. She, you know, one is because, again, you have to make the time. She's on this all the time, but if I ask her to look up something, can we find the plumber? It's a no-go. Anyway, but <laughs> and it can, unfortunately, yeah. But, you know, I, I'm it, caught up in that, too. I mean, I, I have a, my lady friend, you know, who, who uh, you know, is always... Well, that's need. This is a strong need. You know, I, I, I said, no, I, I want to do it this way. You know, I, I still, mm. you know, the Big Lebowski says, the future is electronic. Yes. Well, I'm an I, I Sometimes I think of myself, you know, uh, I believe in nothing. And I, right. I, I was debating whether to wear my full nihilism. You should, you could have done it. <laughs> but the idea of nihilism as a philosophy, as a philosophy. not as a term. A literal, like, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. You know, some idea is that what's, who, what's, who cares about anything? Because 100, 500,000 years, we're not going to, nothing's, this is not going to be here, you know, mm -hmm. so that's from the big, you know, the yeah, big right, right, right. sort of spoofs the nihilism. The yeah, 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 right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nihilism is also used, unfortunately, by some people who have their own issues and they're hiding it under nihilism. They because, hide it. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and they a give lot up. Of, see, labels. Yeah. Labels are bad. I, I, that's unusual. We to need make. labels, I, though. I, I complete we, judgment, though. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, you know, a, a label, like, I, as a psychiatrist, unfortunately, I have experience with the labeling. And they also How change the terminology. You, yeah. yeah, but yeah, can't follow you know, it. Yeah, label, right. A negative label, you get stuck with it. You know, I, I had it goes in the paperwork. a forensic case where this guy really, uh, I can't talk too much about it, but he got labeled, and the label followed him where he ended up spending more time in sort of a psychiatric to, setting because he had that if label. he would have gotten sentenced, right, right. you know, uh, and just been in jail, you know. We can even see with schools, well-meaning or not well-meaning, people call a kid ADD, and then yeah. they, also, and they give him medication. Maybe he just needed a little more focus, or maybe his parents were getting divorced, and he's upset at that, you know. I, I've had know. that, actually, issue, yeah. you know, where I... I uh, the ADD? I can see that. No, no, no. no. <laughs> well, we both have ADD. Let's okay. <laughs> you think? <laughs> I'm not going to label you. You can label, it's I'm fine. I'm joking, I'm joking. Okay. You know, I, I, I think we're quick Minded, that's all. You know. I think I'm a little ADD but, too. Yeah. yeah, but I, I think labeling. I had I had that issue once in the school system, right. where I. Uh, uh, in fact, it, it, I went on TV. I was on TV or the radio about tough love, actually, uh, around this issue, mm -hmm. where tough love became a label, and it yeah. was originally used for people who had drug problems, and then it became a label, and parents started using it for their children. Yeah, yeah. I Again, mean, took it, the idea, misused it. It, it, mis it was yeah, yeah, misused. Yeah, yeah, right. You know, have got out of hand that, yeah, in, terms, yeah, in terms of some of the ways tough love right, would right. deal yeah. with, with their druggies. You know, with the people who were drug addicted, made sense, but it doesn't always make sense in a parent-child relationship. No, no, it's there's no, There's no way. It's an easy way for a kid to blow the kid way, off. Yeah, yeah, there yeah. are different ways that you have to learn, I think. Yeah. There, and you can't, you know, tell, you can't, there's no menu or cookbook. Yeah, it's different every time, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And you can't but use a label. Roughly speaking, tough love sometimes is like, the kid's not going to change until they hit rock, whatever. They have to make yeah. that, they're not going to listen. How much can you really do? Yeah. You've tried everything, and you have your own life to lead, and then they have to find, yeah. yeah and mean, sometimes it, that works. A lot of times. It, it can, but again, yeah. it, 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 it can't be taken as a way, yeah, as yeah. a program. For every, everything to cover all every program, every every problem with a kid. God, we could go on forever. You know, you know, I mean, and our final five minutes. So yeah. you can psychoanalyze me. No, because you, you look at me. You look at me sometimes. I'll tell you the story. You're thinking yeah, yeah. sometimes. I'll tell you the story. Okay. I want to tell you about the Marines. Okay, then we, so, we, we so, should. End. I could talk forever, but we have to end. So I, I was the division psychiatrist. So I, I, I during I the Vietnam was, conflict. It was during the Vietnam. So I, I didn't go to Vietnam, but I was at Camp Lejeune. But you remember uh, Jack Nicholson and a few good men. Yes, he had so to there bring. Were, there was a fifty. Is that when he's bringing this guy to the brigade and? to the stockade. 
No, a few good men. Oh, 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 yeah. You can't tried. handle the truth. Yeah, 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 yeah. So there were about Tom a, lot of, a lot of the Marines, not all, about 50% of the Marines were like that, the officers. Really? So that was a good, that was kind of a good. Um, it was very, very good characterization. Really? So okay. I'm sitting next to one of these guys in the officer's club. I have a, a bunch of stories about this. But he, I'm sitting there having a drink, and the guy, and he's a colonel or something, and he says, hey, Doc, are you analyzing me? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, we have eight minutes. Thank okay. you. Uh, I don't know if we can talk more than eight minutes. But okay. it, it, he, he says... Oh, we can. Okay. He says, hey, Doc, are you analyzing me? And I got scared. Mm -hmm. I, I, I said... Oh, there's I, some ulterior motive here. He, he, well, had, he, he asked he you paranoid. that. paranoid. Oh. <laughs> there, there's a paranoia. Well, like, being in the military, I could yeah. see that. Dealing yeah. with the Pentagon, going to war, yeah, yeah. I'd be paranoid, and, too. And, yeah, and it was upsetting. And I had to make sure that the uh, the officer understood that I wasn't, and I said, you know, in social situations, now, you always, I think whenever you meet people socially, you do do something where you feel something about them. Yeah, well, anyone you, you can. You don't analyze right. them, but you do have an opinion right. that you form. So you can say, well, do something. Doesn't mean it's even strong, but, but you have yeah, one. Yeah, but I think, I think normally people do Yeah, that. we all do. We all do. So, but when you're confronted as a psychiatrist, there's a danger area there, you know? Because mm -hmm. the guy could really think, you know, what's this guy really And like? also, we he, kind of he, start he, giving you some supernatural powers. He's a shrink. He's a shrink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the use so, of the word shrink. Right, right. You know, is really. Uh, He's picking a part, yeah, yeah but, you, but also you have some supernatural powers almost because yeah. you've done this well, you so could, much. You can, I had yeah. a case actually. Uh, uh, this was I wrote actually it was a paper I published. Like Hannibal, you know, another just like just an, like Hannibal Lecter that kind well, of. Well, yeah, yeah, I, I yeah. had I had because he was so amazing, high I had power a case perception. In Italy, I actually mentioned Hannibal because there was a, right. a, one of the program, one of the show, one of his movies took place in Florence. Right, right, right. Yeah, the yeah. sequel did. Oh, yeah. Right, right, right. And and so I had a case. Uh, it was called brain. It's called Plagio, which means brain stealing. Mm -hmm. Brain stealing, and it was a professor with with someone, a, a student or someone, and it was a homosexual relationship. Mm -hmm. And the parents then uh, sued the professor Brabante, you know, for stealing the mind of this younger student, and right. they sued him for what's called plagio. So I wrote the case up, but it was really it's a true how story. They felt, yeah, right. yeah, it was. How was the kid an adolescent though, or was he in college? He, he was a young man. But they saw him as being manipulated. They saw him as being manipulative. Manipulated, yeah, yeah. basically brain. Wash, right. Washed. We would not have maybe done sold. this, what he did, if yeah. we hadn't encountered this man. It's, it's a legal term, mm -hmm. you know, but it's literally mind stealing. Wow. And and so Brabante was seen, like you might see a psychiatrist, the way that you were addressing it was like psychiatrists are feared as they can do that. They can right. steal or they can intrude. And then or, popular media, can, uh, that's what the anti hero hero is. It's the so, stereotype. So, yeah, yeah. So, you know, even Robin Williams in Goodwill Hunting, he was just on point, he knew what was going on, which it could can really happen because you see the same scenarios a lot. I, I think you you it depends upon your how you feel. There is intuition. Yeah. You know, there's an art also. You know, now most of us are regulated to medication. You right, know? so it's not talk therapy. It's not talk, you know, right, right. but therapists, I mean, but I, I feel psychiatrists were well, very well trained. But you see patterns of yeah, behavior. Yeah, You've yeah. seen, you, we do you, follow. You begin yeah. to understand, you begin to feel, you have empathy, you know, mm -hmm. and hopefully you do, you know, as a, as a psychiatrist or a therapist. So you get an idea of the behavioral patterns of people. Right, right. You know, and you, you do you, see you, it day in and day out. Yeah, you see it. I mean, so you normally, I mean, well, naturally, or whatever term you want to use. Again, that's why people could know. be so different but they follow similar patterns. There are patterns, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yet, All human beings. Again, yeah, the, yeah. the idea I said going back to diversity. That's what be, I mean. We it do. It could be diverse. It could be positive, but it could be a negative right. thing too. Right, right, right. You know, it, it could be a party. It could be unit. See, I think we need to use our diversity, you know, in, psychologically to understand it, you know, and to pull together, you know, uh, you know, individually even. I mean. When, Politics in the United States is, is a, you look at you look at it as a family system, you know where there's a head and then things you know sort of trickle down if I may use that word, mm -hmm. you know. But it's true. It, 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 our president and and different you know, countries have different yeah, cultural yeah, traits yeah. they want in their leaders. Yeah, they, in the America we, we used to be it used to be the Eisenhower. Well, you look up. You, 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 but the Moses, the father, the father figure, figure right? Father it figure. used to be. I don't know if it's yeah. changing. Eisenhower fit that perfectly. Yeah. And Clinton even in some ways did that really well. Bill Clinton no. when he would bite his lip and go. I feel your pain. I'm here for you. I'm yeah. going to help. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, it's yeah. A family system. And Trump does it too. I'm going to fix yeah. things. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, it's, 
there's a family system theory right. of how you know things what we operate. what we want in the we're reptilian. In that. You, yeah, I think you know it's one way of looking at the government. Right. You know, as a family, uh, you know, it could be a good family, it could be a you know right. a, a dysfunctional. We, it could be a dysfunctional family. family. So right. Right. But it's still yeah, family. Yeah, it's family. Gangs to me are people looking for sub. That's yeah, a subterranean family. family. Uh, yeah, I I wrote an article on cults. Oh, so, yeah, very strong. Yeah, Belonging we're, 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 group. This yeah. person that I had really turned to the cult because her family was right. dysfunctional, so she turned to the cult. Right, right. And I think that's, people know this, I hope, I think. No, but it's, it's yeah, a combination yeah. of family belonging to something bigger than yourself, being needed, needed. seen, wanted, we're all, or, or someone will give you direction. You know, I found out I was needy <laughs> when I got sick. All oh, my yeah, life, yeah, I had yeah. been pretty independent. I thought right, right. that I was a pretty independent person, and but I didn't. And I lived my life that and way. You, and you probably did, but then you yeah, got, then got part sick. of the human condition. Yeah. You got sick, and I felt I could, which I is equivalent to a, like a knockout punch. Yeah, you got I, knocked I, on I the ground. Control things anymore, right, right. You know, and I really felt it was a wake up call. I, right, yeah, right. It was really a wake up call. It just shows how it just shows that we are human. Yeah, and not that you were arrogant either, but you were. You were in control. You knew your life. I was able to, but you got sick. I was able to accept that. That's good. That's good though. You stop instead of like getting down yeah. on yourself, not I, accepting I it, torturing. Myself. I could say if someone says you're wrong, I, I, I could say, yeah. oh, all right, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you're right, though. One thing I've gotten out of, out of this conversation, the simplest thing, it's harder to do, is center and think. Yeah, think. And be, and be, you we know, can, can we end it on that? Okay. <laughs> on, on, the, the, on thinking. Right, People right. People just think. Don't, you, you don't even have to grieve. Don't make, you don't have to make excuses. Just think about but you put it. yourself in the other person's read, shoes. Read the Mueller report. Read the Mueller report. <laughs> and with that, we are done. And we'll be back and and I'm going to Italy. I'm going to be thinking a lot there. And then I'll be back in I we'll can give you a lot of points on Italy. Yeah, thank you. Ju in July. And there's been another breathing with Beerman. Thank you Sally Tazzlar for doing this. I'm going to do a 400, 400 mile bike ride I hope that. Okay. <laughs> do it for me. I and will. think about me. I will. Okay. Peace. It was enjoyable. Yes.